Last week, I made a reaction video to $1.3 million income of a doctor in the United States. And if you're curious how much junior doctor like me with just an MBBS degree makes in India, this video is for you. Hey friends, if you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. I love you to the stars and back. Today, let's discuss the juicy but not so frequently discussed topic of how much a junior doctor with just an MBBS degree makes in India. That is, how much money does a medical school graduate who has finished his internship but hasn't done any residency or post graduate training earns in India. I am one of those people. My residency plans are on hold because of the thing in the air. So I'll be telling you exactly how much I got paid in four different jobs that I've had in four different sectors after graduating med school. And also we'll discuss how much MBBS doctors earn in general, how being in different types of jobs affect their incomes. And I'll be using my own example. And again, I'll be using my own example, having either worked in different kinds of jobs or having had job offers from different kinds of sectors. Now this video is for anyone who is curious how much junior doctors make or people in med school or people who want to get into med school and their parents to just get an idea of what you can expect once you graduate. And like always, please check the description for timestamps if you just want to watch some specific portions of the video. So the point at which an MBBS doctor starts to get paid is during internship and it'll be a basic stipend. Medical doctors in India have to do a compulsory internship after finishing four and a half years of medical school. They'll be posted for a month or two in different departments of the hospital like general medicine, general surgery, orthopedics and pediatrics, etc. So they can get an idea on how to manage conditions or different kinds of conditions. Most colleges have internship for one year, but some colleges have it for two years where the second year will be spent in a rural area in some uh, community health center. Now, during this period, doctors will be paid from the medical college and not from the hospital they are working in. Stipend is higher in government colleges and is lower in private colleges and some private colleges don't pay anything. So my pay as an intern in a state government run medical college in Karnataka was about 20,000 per month which was quite a good amount. It's being planned to be increased to 25,000 per month which is quite a handsome pay considering that this whole year is just you learning the basics of being a doctor. However, in private colleges, you can expect anywhere from 15,000 a month to zero rupees a month. Now, what you have to note is that it also varies by state. The figures that I gave you is for uh, medical colleges in my state of Karnataka. Some states pay much lesser. Some states like Delhi may pay a bit more. Now, special categories like students from uh, army medical colleges like AFMC get paid way more because they would have been inducted into the army with the rank of a lieutenant, I think and they get the rank pay of a lieutenant which is around 70,000 rupees. Places that have that one extra year of rural service, part of the two year internship may pay more in the second year around uh, 25 to 30,000 per month. Now, once you graduate, once you have that medical degree and a permanent license to practice, the opportunities become kind of limitless. You'll never be out of a job unless you choose to. And you can also choose where to work and what kind of work you want to do. Do you want to work in a big city like Bangalore or do you want to chill in a place like Goa or Lakshadweep? Do you just want to work in a hospital? Do you want to join government service? Do you want to join the army? Do you want to join the, a medical startup? Do you want to have your own startup? Do you want to have your own medical establishment? The opportunities are endless. So your pay will vary depending on what kind of sector you get into. So let's see what all different kinds of sectors and jobs pay. If you join as a duty doctor or a medical officer in a private hospital, this is the most common route that MBBS graduate takes because it's easier to get in. Your pay will depend on your experience and your skills and the work hours you're ready to put in. On an average, it ranges from 25,000 to 60,000 per month, but it can go upwards of 1 lakh per month depending on whether the doctor has learned extra skills or is experienced. MBBS doctors can learn extra skills like doing echocardiograms, basic ultrasounds, etc. and this will increase pay. The pay is more in metro areas and big cities and when you come to a small town the pay becomes 10 to 15k lesser for a comparable job. So my salary working as a doctor in a private hospital in Bangalore working six days a week eight hour shifts was around 55,000 per month. Some doctors also do telemedicine which is basically giving basic prescriptions and counseling over the phone and if you can spend like three to four hours a day you can make close to thousand rupees per day so you can do the math. 
if you join government service it can vary by whether it's a state government job or it's a central government job whether you're on contract whether you're a permanent employee a lot of things if you're on contract in a state government job the base pay will be less it will be around 35 to 45k but you will get bonuses for you know working in rural areas and meeting some objectives set by the government if you're employed with the state government as a full time medical officer you can expect a starting basic pay of 50 to 60000 this was for the state run government hospitals central government hospitals pay much more i came across a central government job offer for about 75000 for one year contract and a friend of mine worked for esi hospitals for around 80 85000 a month which is pretty good pay now if you join the army as a medical doctor you will have the rank of a captain and you'll get the rank pay of a captain which is around 80 to 90000 in hand plus bonuses and other stuff Then comes the exciting option of joining medical startups. These companies look for doctors to write medical articles, you know, cross check medical data. Edutech companies will want you to teach or frame questions or check questions and things like that. And the pay tends to be up around 40 to 65k. So my first proper job after graduating medical school was in one such startup and my pay was around 55,000 again. Now corporate companies, MNCs and factories hire medical officers, doctors to treat their their employees has minor conditions like headaches or fevers to major emergencies like heart attacks or bleeding so i had a job offer for about 60000 per month from an mnc for a one year contract you could also work for insurance companies they need doctors to check medical data to cross check patient reports they pay a similar amount around 40 to 60k but uh, i personally find this to be boring so i didn't do much research into it So the next interesting field is in academia or a teaching setting. If you like teaching medicine or just biology as a whole, you can work as a tutor or a lecturer in one of the medical colleges or in some degree colleges where you can teach biology subjects like physiology. And in these jobs you can expect a starting salary of around 30,000 but the work will be quite relaxed. So if you want to do something like that, that's also an option. Now the final high risk high returns option is to start your own private practice. It can either make you very less money or a lot of money. MBBS doctors have license to practice all forms of medicine and they can even perform surgeries like vasectomies, tubectomies, emergency cesarean sections, emergency appendectomies, etc. as long as they have trained in those fields under a consultant in a large teaching hospital for at least 6 months and they have to show proof of that experience now as you can see how much money you make in your own private practice depends on how much time you are willing to spend um, second how many procedures you can do safely and legally and third how big your setup is with private practice you can make anywhere from 40000 a month to 5 lakhs a month Like I said it all depends on you. Now not all fresh medical graduates will have access to the relatively higher paying jobs that I had. I was in quite a favorable position because first I live in Bangalore and second I graduated from the best government run medical school in my state. So I had access to all these good options but since I took too many breaks in between to study for a lot of different kinds of exams I haven't made much money in total but that's okay these exams are going to get me my residency of choice hopefully fingers crossed and probably a good lifestyle later on so I'm not complaining I'm kind of broke now but that's okay well that's it from me for today if you like this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe and click on that bell icon so you get a notification in your phone or in your computer every time I upload a video and if you want me to make a video about a certain topic that interests you let me know in the comments i read all of your comments and i'll see you in the next video bye bye